Well, mountain biking has been a major part of my life. Uh, it started when I was 14 and I've done everything I can to make mountain biking my main focus for both my livelihood and for my enjoyment. My name is Dustin Adams and I'm the CEO of We Are One Composites. Twenty twenty was a pretty rough year. I had a a couple large crashes. He was doing some testing. I uh, was driving the shuttle rig, uh, driving everyone up and down the hill, and felt pretty good. And at the end of the day, everybody said I should just take a mellow run down the hill and give the product a try myself. Uh, riding with my two sons, um, taking it what I would call a re relatively mellow run and not taking any risks or any chances and just wasn't really paying attention, I guess. I am Chance Adams and Dustin is my dad and this is my brother Levi. I was actually riding with him at the time. When I was at the bottom, I was sort of thinking like, oh, what's taking him so long? He's usually faster than this. And then he comes out of the trail leaning on his handlebars, uh, like groaning, and I'm like, what happened? And he's like, I think I broke my ribs. And he just collapses. And we had to go to the hospital really quick. I still, to this day, am not 100% sure as to what happened, uh, but all I can remember was uh, landing kind of on my shoulder and rolling out of a, a crash. And then in the crash, it was like a, a pop internally. So I was dropped off at the hospital after the crash. Um, our machine shield uh, drove me, my sons and myself down from Harbour Mountain. My name is Jill Corbet. I'm the machinist at We Are One. When Dustin crashed, um, I was behind him and to me it looked like he just dug a pedal in coming into like a, a compression and uh, it pitched him over. And I don't know if it was his elbow that elbowed himself in the spleen or the handlebar or what it was, but he was uh, rolling around on the ground longer than what we thought was funny. Uh, and we knew that there was, <laughs> there was something wrong. So we loaded him up and I drove him to the hospital. As soon as they kind of realized that it was pretty serious, uh, the doctors did some quick uh, checks on me and, and figured that I was bleeding quite severely internally. I was rushed off to um, get a CT scan where they found that I had ruptured my spleen and I was bleeding severely internally. So uh, after that confirmation was made, it was a matter of minutes it felt uh, and they sent me in for a, a splenectomy and they removed my spleen. My name is Dustin Windross. I am the production manager at We Are One. So this is the basically where the accident happened was it's on this section of trail, the trail that anybody anybody can ride. It's got a couple nice little berm turns in here. It's kind of high speed. It's got a couple little tricky spots where you can catch pedals, but it's uh, just another standard piece of trail that you'd never really think a huge accident could happen. Right after Dustin's incident um, that affected me, he got hurt in a way that was quite serious. And I just thought like, there is upwards of 50 people at that shop right now and we're all depending on it, right? We're making a living at We Are One Composites and if the worst would have happened, it would have been terrible for everybody. So I just really got to thinking like it could be me in that same position and my family would be without me. It hit home and I wanted to do something about that. Man, it feels good to have such a large turnout for something that I organized. And like, I feel like our cause here is, is really important, what we're doing. We take risks in our lives. Mountain biking is risky. Driving your car down the road is risky. Um, there's tons of people in need. So I would really just hope to reach out and get more of those people that are on the fence about donating to just feel more comfortable about doing it and, and maybe be able to relate to the story that we're telling here and hopefully they, they take the plunge and do it themselves.
Once I initially had this idea and I wanted to start putting the project together, it took getting a hold of Gail. And then once I did finally get a hold of Gail and we started coordinating, it really started steamrolling, right? It picked up a lot of speed and it became really easy. They were very accommodating. We had a lot of correspondence between us to, to move us along where we are. Uh, Gail Voyer, Associate Director for BC and Yukon for Canadian Flood Services. When I first heard his story, it was kind of one of those ones where I was like, wow, I'm, you know, I, I'm really grateful that, um, that um, his colleagues and friends were there um, at, the, at the accident, honestly, to, to help him and get him to the hospital so that he was able to get the help he needed. Um, my heart always kind of just kind of stops, um, I guess, when I hear those personal stories of someone that um, needed blood and blood products. and. Um, it just reminds me of the work that we do and we, we're able to do every day um, just to help save patients like, um, like Dustin. You know, when you're doing like a, you know, a high risk sport um, like that, there's always risks associated with it and never do we want to see one, somebody getting hurt. Um, but I would look at maybe blood donation as a way to give back um, to save patients like Dustin or um, maybe to just save patients anywhere in Canada. And, um, hoping that those riders would never need the blood that they're actually donating. It is an honor to, to have everybody do this in, in the company's name and my name uh, or, or for me to support the cause that supported me through through my splenectomy. Um, and I thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it means a lot. It is a, a big shock and um, I'm glad that we can pull together to support this and, and bolster the, the blood bank in, in BC for sure.